Welcome to my new weekly segment where I play a game from Wednesday to Wednesday, collect footage, and give you my review about it. And today's game is Archer Danger Phone. I wanted to like this game. I really did. I'm a huge fan of the show, and it was so exciting to me to get a chance to play a game based on the show I love, which has a ton of great material to draw from, but this is not it. So on the off chance you've never played an idle game like this before, the whole point is to take a tiny amount of money, buy up a bunch of stuff, virtually, and then build more money than you could ever possibly use, and hoard it like a dragon until even Bezos is embarrassed. That part of the game works fine for the early levels. So you're able to build up your abilities. You start with Krieger's lab and you start to build more and more and more of the headquarters. I'm sure there are other levels further on, but I wasn't even able to get to them. This brings up my first complaint, which is probably more about idle games as a genre, but how long it takes to actually do anything. Now, I loved the cutscenes in this game. I loved all the introduction of characters in this game. It brought back a lot of fun moments from the show. But it takes way too long to finish even the early chapters. I got through, I believe, chapter 6, and that's where I'm stuck because I'm just waiting for the money to pile up, pile up, pile up. I've only ever played one other idle game like this, and that was Adventure Capitalist. And that game at least lets you reset at your own rate. That's probably the biggest flaw in Danger Phone. You have to complete the mission before you can reset. And so a lot of the game is just simply waiting and waiting and waiting. And after two days of waiting, I just decided to put the game down. What do you mean I can't play the game that I put on my phone for two full days? That's just ridiculous. One thing that I was actually pretty pleased by was the lack of ads being forced down your throat. Now, you could watch ads to get extra bonuses, but you weren't forced to. A lot of games, when you reset your simulation, instead of loading or having a fun minigame in the middle, like this game does, you are treated to ad after ad after ad. So, I will say that that is a positive for this game. Overall, unless you are somehow in the tiny, tiny, tiny majority of hardcore Archer fans and hardcore idle game fans, I'm going to say go ahead and skip this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you tune in next week where I will be discussing Genshin Impact, which I have had a little bit of a chance to play. It is so far amazing, and so I will be covering that next Thursday, so be sure to like, subscribe, turn that bell on so you know when that next video is coming, and I will see you next time.